home and um uh, i need to um i've been i've just been traded to the god forbid san diego chargers okay <laughs> And I need to sell this home real fast because they need me over there. And I got, I need the money to buy another home. And I got this home. I paid for it in cash because I got a signing bonus. It's worth a million two. And I, and I need to sell it today. And I'll take, um, uh, and I'll take a 750 cash sale. Okay. And that, I don't want to do anything creative. What are you going to do with that deal? Come on, someone sell me. Hi, Claude, the football player here. I got to sell this home. I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to San Diego next week. I got to get, and I need cash. Hey, Clyde, I can make sure uh, that happens for you. Um, we can definitely go into contract with that 750 number and I can probably close about two weeks. Sounds good. Does that, work for you? Does that work for you? Yeah. What do we do next? Uh, sign this contract and then, uh, let me have my inspection period. Let me come in, make sure everything is on the up and up over there and the repairs that you told me that were on there. Are on there. It's a new, what do you mean the up and up? What are you saying about me, man? I just want to make sure that, you know, people say their place is livable and up to date. What are you, hey to... man, I don't, what are you, what are you talking about? This is a brand new home. I'm with the, I'm with the Broncos, man. What do you mean? What are you saying? I, I, I told you it's a nice, come over and take a look at it. Yeah, I'll, I could be right there. When's the best time for me to come down there? Okay. But how soon are you going to, how soon am I going to get this contract and how much can you put down? Um. Well, my, I won't put down any money until after. I oh, see goodbye. Problem. You're dead to me. See you later. Eh. Michael. Boy. Well, I mean, sort of like Vince said, right away, we can we can get you in contract today and we can close uh, all cash offer within within two weeks. We're not going to have to wait on a bank to come out. I love it. I love it. Okay. What did Vincent do wrong in there? Two things he did wrong. I'm. You don't mind constructive criticism, right? That's why, that's why you're here. Claude. Okay, don't ever take yep. it personal. I only want to see you make money. So I'll, I'll jump all over you when you fuck up. <laughs> that's good. Okay, what did, what did Vince do wrong? A little bit. A little things. You did pretty good, actually. You know, first time out. Um, two things you did wrong. What was the biggie? The, what was the EQ that pissed me off? Uh, the, about the property. Say again? Condition. If the, everything was on the up and up, right? The up and up. What does that mean? Maybe I'm hypersensitive. The up yeah. and up. Does that mean I'm like trying to scam you or something? Yeah, I guess you could take it that way. You got to be careful. Yeah. Stro Here's the words takeaway, guys. This is a big stroking, nurturing, empathy. Remember those three. You stroke is a compliment. Nurturing is you make them feel good. Did you ever have a bad day at school? You came home, mom gave you a hug and a, a glass of milk and cookies. That's nur no. that's nurturing. Did you ever do something? You, you know, yeah, yeah. You got a nice new haircut, and a pretty girl came up to you and said, "Nice haircut, Michael. Wow, you look great, yeah. man. You look five years young." Boom! You feel that's a compliment. Do you like that person? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Okay. And empathy is what are they feeling at that moment based on the conversation and the words you're using. So when you say to me, hypersensitive Claude, the football player, thinks his shit don't stink, is this on the up and up or make sure it's on the up and up? I'm, I instantly dislike you. <laughs> it can, you can blow, you can lose a million dollars with one sentence, mm -hmm. with maybe one or two words. That's how sensitive, that's how people are. But you can also win them over by using the right words. You stroke a nurse. You should have said something. Hey, man, I've been watching your career. Congratulations. I think you'll love San Diego. You know, I, I wish you the best of luck. Stay injury free and stuff like that. And I'll get you some paperwork and uh, let's sign this and let's go to town today. Okay, so that's stroking, nurturing, empathy, right? Mm -hmm. You know, is it a lot of stress moving and packing up and selling your house? I can't imagine how you feel right now, Mr. Bronco. Okay, so that's important. Next one. Um, I asked you how much you're going to put down. Here's a rule for you guys. A lot of rules. Always answer a question with a question while stroking and nurturing. So when I go to you, how much can you put down? You'll say to me, good question, Claude. That's reasonable. What do you think would be, what would be comfortable for, what would you like to, what would you feel is comfortable for you um, as a commitment today? Okay. okay. Let him say, maybe you'll say nothing. Maybe you'll say 5,000. Maybe you'll say 50,000. You can always, we can fix it later. 
The thing is now just get the contract, keep him happy. If he wants 50000 down, you write a check and have your attorney hold it or something like that. You know, we can do that in escrow. We can, fi we can finagle it somehow and keep him happy. Or maybe the investor who's going to give you all this money. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so uh, you got to get the contract. You got to get a time frame for the sign. When is he going to sign that contract and get it back to you, Michael? Today, right now. Let's role play. Um, yeah, you got to send me a contract or something, Michael. Yeah, I can do it through Adobe Sign. You give me your email, I'll have it to you within five minutes. Uh, I, you know, I got to go down to I got to go down to Mile High Stadium and everything. Can I just meet you in the parking lot? I don't know that technical shit. Well, I mean, Mile High is only about ten minutes away from my house. So if you want to meet in person and do it uh, via paper and pencil, I can definitely do it. Yeah, I'll, 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 I, can I, I can now. meet you at the gate, or I can let put your name in there and let you in the gate, and you can watch our practice if you want, and I'll sign whatever you want. All right, so I'll see you there in fifteen minutes. Say thank you. Say that's a great idea. Nice going, Claude. You're very okay, creative. Right. Give me a cookie. Give me always. People are like that. If you just the little things, just okay. the littlest things, yeah. you got to go to. You you just give them the slightest compliment or thank you. They love you, and that's it. Here's the rule of psychology and sales and persuasion. People do business. This is genius, right? It's so simple. People do business with people they like. And if they like you, they sometimes like, and you have a little bit more in conversation, guess what it goes to? Trust. Yep. When you have trust, man, it's blank check time. Yep. You, ever, you ever have those relationships, Michael, and you're doing deals or, or you know, Definitely. or Vincent, you know, where somebody likes you and you, they trust you implicitly. I had a guy yesterday. I've known him for 15 years. Um, he's gone to my seminars in Hawaii and everything. I haven't, I haven't heard from him in two years. He called me up. He said, Claude, I want your new gut sales package. And everything like that. Oh, good. Where you been? How you been? Everything. He said, great. Uh, listen, um, I'm driving right now. When I get home, I can send you a PayPal. I said, don't worry about it. I'll send you the package right now digitally. I know you're a man of your word, so I'm not even concerned. Boom. He, two hours later, it was in, it was in the account. Sometimes you didn't, all you had to do was say the right words. But I knew the guy. I trusted him because we had that relationship. So this is kind of what you do in these deals when you negotiate. So now you got a deal. It's worth 1.2. You got it for you got a contract for 750,000. Do you either of you have $750,000 or a line of credit today? No, no. Okay. What do we do? We call our our big time investors. Hello, Claude the big time investor. <laughs> hey Claude, this is Vince. How you doing? I'm good, man. What's up? How you been? Good, good, good. Uh, you had fun for Thanksgiving and everything. How about yours? How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, it was wonderful. We flew and saw my wife's folks in North Carolina, and then we uh, were back here for a while, do some skiing, and and then off to Hawaii. Uh, so, uh, what do you got for me, guy? I'm real busy. Uh, I got a new deal for you. Uh, one of the, you know the Bronco player, Claude Diamond. He's uh, getting traded in San Diego. Um, got this. Got, got to get rid of his property real quick, and uh, so I got this. It's all it's all brand new. It's all brand new, been updated. Uh, I can get it over to you for uh, $850,000 cash, but we got to close in two weeks. Okay, off the role play. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I'll give you a six, plus, six seven plus out of 10 on that. What's the EQ? What's the, I'm Claude the investor. What do investors love more than anything? Making money. Making money. What are you supposed to say in the first 15 seconds to me after we do hello, how are you? It's a one point two million dollar house that you can sell to me for Claude. How would you like to make a lot of money today, Michael? Hit me with the money part. I'm, be right, so I'm beating up Vincent here today. <laughs> no, that's all right. I get to learn. <laughs> I get to learn. So, Claude, Claude I, I know you want to make some money, and uh, within two weeks, how would you like it if I could get you a one point two million dollar house for eight hundred fifty thousand dollars? You got my attention, man. Wow. Where is it? What? Tell me more about it. You got any paperwork? Well, you got you got the paperwork and everything. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I just met with uh, Claude Diamond. I don't know if you heard, he's getting traded to the San Diego Chargers. So he just had to he had to sell his house in Cherry Hills Village, and we I've got him under contract. So like I said, I can get you. What What are we talking about? A three hundred fifty thousand dollars spread there. So uh, does that sound interesting to you? I love it. And um, you know what? We we just uh, we just cashed out something. We've got the cash right now. Do you have a? Do, Pay attention to my words now. Do you have a prospectus? I have not actually put a prospectus together. I just signed the contract. I can get it all. I can get it all put together and on your desk within 
two hours, though. Okay, great. Okay, great. Send it to me. I'll take a look at it. Bye-bye. <clears throat> what did he do wrong just now? Um, not have the perspective. Yeah. Well, that's true. That's true. But you didn't know about that. I want to be fair here. I'll tell you about a prospectus in a minute. What else? What am I? What about the pay contract? When's he getting it back? Oh, we didn't go for the get hit, get the contract from the buyer. Yeah. Well, we need a commitment. A t always when we're we're always looking for to discuss the money and get a timely commitment. It, you know, we're on this little honeymoon thing. Yeah, it sounds great. Send me the information. You're feeling good. He's feeling good. You get off the phone. Now you never hear from him again. Does that ever happen to you? It happened a lot of times to me. We oh, set, yeah. we get commitments. Every conversation, you get a commitment, whether it's time, money, decision making, or fire the guy because he doesn't have the money or it's not there. You want to deal with principles. So when you come back to me, you got to uh, – let me tell you what a prospectus is for. I forget. It's basically just um, – it's a PDF where you send them the um, pictures, uh, maybe a marketability study. Hey, it's in Highlands Ranch. It's right near the new trolley. Or Do they call it a trolley? What do they call the, the new – Light rail. The light rail. Excuse me. San Diego, it's a trolley. Yeah. yeah. The new light rail system. Okay, and it's uh, near the college, and uh, great appreciation. You put together a little paragraph or two of the marketability. You got pictures inside now. Maybe you have an attached a video or a link from YouTube that they can click on, and you send this to them. Uh, you send this file to him through a Dropbox, so he has everything he needs in the in the uh, in the video in the uh, prospectus. Because that's what investors want. They want numbers, facts, and stuff. You've got two weeks. What's the downside of this deal? You have two weeks, right? Yep. Yeah. Vincent only that's gave. The What's that? I said that's the downside. We got we got to be able to close in two weeks. Two weeks. So who's got the pa You've got a little bit of power in this deal. Okay. You've got a great deal here, but what's the downside? Don't have the money. The quick close. Don't have the money and the two weeks. Mm -hmm. So you're not in the you're not really in a power position right now. So you better be a very Part of being a great gut salesman is being a great actor. Okay. You want $100,000 on the deal. Okay. Uh, but you don't have the money or the two weeks. So you, you, the clock is ticking, right? So let's go back in the role play. Uh, this, is how, uh, this is how I would play it if you came to me with this deal. I'd say, um, uh, Vincent, Michael, uh, thanks, man. I looked over to prospectus and everything. What do you, uh, I, I want to see a copy of your original contract on this transaction. Yeah, we can definitely have full disclosure, and you can definitely see that. Okay, um, good. You sent it to me right now. I'm looking at it. Wonderful. Hey, you're getting this property for seventy five, seven fifty, and you just signed up the other day with this guy. You're trying to make a hundred thousand on me. Uh, how much money do you think you're going to make, Claude? I don't care. Yeah. What's that have to do with anything? Well, I, you think it's a? Uh, don't you think there's a? I should be compensated for. The hard work that I find to find the find the lead and set everything up. I mean, absolutely, and I really appreciate you guys bringing it to me. What's the least you'd take for me to sign this contract today and put the fifty thousand down that you don't have in the two weeks with the clock ticking to put this in escrow and close on it? What's the least you'll take to do for me to put up that fifty grand that's in this that's required in this contract? Um, I think that it's a fair deal, don't you? You making three hundred fifty and me making a hundred. I mean. If you don't want it, Claude, I definitely could offer it to somebody else. But okay, goodbye. You just lost the deal. I'm a shit. I, I can be an SOB. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is what I would really sound like. And if I was negotiating a deal, I know what your contract is for seven fifty. I know you got two weeks. I know you don't have the fifty. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you up a little bit, right? Yeah. Is, I mean, you want to, you want me to keep this real or or fairy? Yeah. Okay. No, yeah, yeah. So keep it back. What's the best? Here's the thing. I've got a number in my head. You, how would you like to make, let's say, fifty to seventy five thousand today? Today. Rather yeah. than rather than what's a hundred thousand? Uh, what's a a hundred thousand of nothing is uh, still nothing. You, yeah. Okay. And maybe there's not, you've only got two weeks here. And do you have a portfolio of investors you can call today? I have about four. Okay. Like four. Big investors. Okay. Four is not a lot, is it? Mm -hmm. And you go into an investor and say, hey, 
You've got to close on a million dollar property with 750,000 and 50,000 down in two weeks. How many people can do that? Not a lot. Not a lot. Michael, close me. Go back to the negotiation. Michael, you take over. Michael, right, uh, I see it's 750 here. What's the least you got? What's the least you and Vincent? Uh, I appreciate you bringing it to me, guys. I really, I like this deal. I know this neighborhood. I want to do this deal. I just don't want to give you 100,000 today. Well, I actually have a, another investor that's already willing to buy it off us for 825. I was just wanting to see if we can get, you know, get 850. So I'm giving you the opportunity to make $350,000 by letting us make 100,000 or I can, uh, you know, go to that other investor and, and get it, you know, sell it to him for 825, make my 75 and he, you know, so it, what, what do you want me to do? Do you want to go ahead and make, make your 350 or do I need to go uh, over and uh, sell it to this other, other investor for 825? Go ahead and give it to him. Okay. I, I, I mean, I would, depending, I guess it depends on might, the scenario. You know, I, I, might, I might actually take that over and well, say, okay, well, that's... Vincent before wanted to sell it for 100000 Okay, so that was uh, eight fifty, and you said you had a guy who wanted to give you eight twenty five or something like that. Yep. Or, yep. or was it eight? Or what did you say, Vincent? That for, you wanted a hundred thousand, yeah. right? Right. Okay, my bullshit meter went off. I've been in this business a long time, and when a guy pressures me, says I got another guy with an offer, but lucky me, you came to me. I right away say that's a that's BS. <laughs> Guys who were rich didn't get there by being dumb unless they inherited it <laughs> or had a trust fund. Let's go back. Somebody close me because you got to leave, Mike, Michael. Yeah, I'll close yeah, you. Yeah. Somebody close me. Make a deal happen right now. Get paid today. I hate Claude. So uh, when you looked over that paperwork, how does everything look? I think the original contract. Looks great, man. I love the deal. I, I really appreciate you and Michael bringing this to me. This is the kind of stuff I look for. Uh, my only thing is, can you do a little bit better on the price? 100000 bucks, and you just got this deal, and you gotta, we got to close in two weeks and put up 50000 in escrow. Uh, can you do a little bit better on, uh, you know, you want an assignment fee, right? Yeah, yeah, Claude. I definitely uh, worked something out with you. I mean, you know, I've known you for a while, you know, and that last time we had some beers, you bought me a beer. and I appreciate that, man. That was a good one. I've never tried that one before. but uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And our kids are in the same taekwondo and everything. I remember, right? Yeah, yeah, you remember. Uh, so, I mean, what, what do you think uh, think's fair? You know, I want to keep bringing you deals and I want to keep making money with you. Yeah, no, I appreciate that. Would you guys take $50,000? Can, can you do uh, can you do 65 and we close today? Shit, yeah. Fair? I was going to okay. off the role play. You know what the number was in my head? 75. 75. What, what, what did you just learn? Because you just lost $10,000. You lost 10000 like that. What did you, what, what's the rule? Shoot for the stars. First to mention price always loses. Why? Oh. I, you wanted 100 I offered 50 Go back. Go to, Claude, can we just split the difference? I want to do business with you. Your kids know mine. We've drank beer together. That was good. That was real good. Then go back. Because the number in my head, word of honor, was 75. And I would have said, now, when do you want to get paid? Out of escrow or today? Today. Got to negotiate that too. Hey, I'll tell yeah. you what. 65, you got a deal, man. Uh, you know, well, let's get the paperwork going. Uh, I'll call the attorney we'll, and we'll get this going. And uh, when we close, you guys will get your 65, okay? Sounds like the plan. Oh. Claude, so I got some other deal here. So if we can actually get paid today, that would... Okay, who wants to go first? No, go ahead. Go ahead, Vince. Hey, Claude, uh, I got some other deals lined up and stuff, too. I wanted to kind of get this deal off to you. Um, I was wondering, is there any way I'd get paid today? Um, yeah, um, uh, well, what do you need? Five, ten grand, and I'll give you the rest out of escrow, subject to an inspection and a title search. Um, let's put that thing in half, Claude. Let's do. Uh, okay, I can. Know, look. I can. You uh, give me thirty thousand dollars a day, and then uh, thirty five at closing, and uh, you know we get this thing closed up. I can live with that. Send. I'll. Uh, you want me to wire it to you, or how do you want to do that? I'll send you the wiring instructions. In the email you got. Right you now. got a deal, man. A deal. Uh, you guys are good with this. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna call me up tomorrow and say you changed your mind or something like that. No, no, Claude. I think that's very fair. Half up front, half on the back end. Okay, we got a deal, man. Boom. That's what it's that's how fast you can make $65,000.